Maybe this is like a little too right. Oh my god, why can't I see? Harvest is an absolute mess. Flower tart cherry fig, raspberry blue. It's very good. Probably not my number one, but it's good. Hi guys. We're back. We're here. I'm here. It's so good to be here. It's been way too long. I feel like this video is literally going to be an hour long. I hope it's not because my like computer probably won't even literally be able to export that much um, footage. I don't even know where to begin. Um, I know that I'm going to begin. My phone's like about to die. Okay. I don't know what to do with this light, but... I'm on my crappy camera because I just like wanted to film this. I feel ready. I just like want to do a little chit chat, like life update, do my makeup with me. My other camera is like this huge Canon. It's amazing. It's such a good camera, but um, this little guy will do us, do us good for right now. So anyways... Let's get started. All right, so I'm just gonna like get this party started. I will link everything I use um, in my description, but instead of like talking about makeup more, I'm just gonna do it and then list everything I used. So, hi. Today is March, what is today? The 8th, 7th? It's the 7th. Hopefully I get this up sooner than later. Um, I, I mean, I'll definitely get it up this week. I just don't know what day yet. Um, it's been a wild ride, guys. I don't even know. I mean, I left my last video was in, like, the middle of Vlogmas. And I'll, I guess I'll just catch you up from from then on you know as much as i can i think i had mentioned that my mom um uh, my mom's been staying with us since november um it was supposed to be more temporary than it's turned out to be and um it's just um she just has some like medical stuff going on that i need to help her with and which i'm happy to do But it's just another added um, task. It takes up a lot of time on top of just having the three kids and a uh, fiance, husband, whatnot. Um, so it's just been hard, flat out. It's just been, it's just been a little hard. Um, so there's that um she's also i wanted to say the room that i had like kind of turned into a like filming space for myself it was our spare bedroom she's staying there so i don't have that space um which is totally fine it was just nice to like have everything right there and i would just go up there and do my thing you know um so that's another thing and then so christmas day christmas morning we surprised our kids and surprised them we literally left at like seven in the morning and got on a plane to disney world in orlando florida so our flight had got canceled on like at four in the morning mike got the notification on his phone that the flight was canceled so we had to like finagle a bagel get on another flight at a completely different airport we we're gonna go out of boston we ended up having to go out of rhode island whatever it worked out fine but just the work up to that like me packing myself and my three kids and keeping it a secret and like it was it was a time in the midst of all that we needed someone to stay with my mom i had to figure all that out um Anyway, it was just a lot. So then, Disney was great, amazing. We went to Boca Raton after, which I'd never been on the east coast of Florida. I've only been on the west coast. So that was great. It was a great time. Got home. Um, all right, so let's just, like, fast forward. Nothing major happened. I literally, like, stayed inside of the house all of January because of Omicron and 
it was just like i was like i'm not like i'm not leaving my house fast forward to february it was my 30th birthday um and mike and i we had an amazing weekend he surprised me with some of my friends for dinner um we originally 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 he was gonna surprise me and take me to um adele in las vegas and she can't, he literally he was on the phone with my friend to see if she could like help with the kids the weekend we were gonna go it was gonna be like the weekend of the 12th or something or the i don't know um and he was on the phone with my friend and she's scrolling through facebook has him on speaker and he was she was like mike adele canceled or she's postponing and he was like oh my god so anyways so we had a great weekend away it was great and then we had a little dinner and cake with the kids and our family on or just like a on sunday um so that was great i turned 30. i'm officially in my 30s i really feel no different i still feel like an old bitch but a young a young lad at the same time um okay so let me get to the point what just like the craziest craziest weekend ever so so the weekend uh the last weekend of february so me and three of my best friends we've been best friends since middle school we all turned 30 back to back to back february march april um so one of my friends couldn't go um we were trying to plan a just like a girls weekend like we're getting married one of us is already married like we're having kids like we own houses like it's like let's have a little moment to be our silly old selves and like have a girls weekend away and we were gonna um we were gonna travel to a city but our one of our best friends Mallory she bought a house in Austin Texas and we were like why don't we just go there never been there she's getting married there next year like whatever so we plan our tr our little girls trip and it was all good whatever the, the week leading up to that the weather was starting to get wonky i was gonna fly out on a friday um a friday morning like it was a really early flight i think it took off at like eight um so i could spend all day basically all day friday in austin saturday sunday come home monday afternoon the flight gets canceled for friday um boston was getting some like big snowstorm and then where i live which i'm only like an hour away but it like wasn't gonna be that bad but mind you this was all um so that was school vacation and i think thursday the day i was supposed to leave before my flight got canceled um olivia was like throwing up and it was it was weird like she was completely fine and then would just be like Bleh, and like projectile vomit i was like okay this is weird like of course we've had this planned and like you're gonna start throwing up like okay so anyways so they cancel my flight and then i reschedule a flight for saturday morning which it was like okay this really freaking stinks but like whatever you know so then my flight on saturday morning gets canceled and one of my friends chelsea got out she ended up getting a flight out on friday night but i couldn't i couldn't make the flight um i my mom was having whatever i just i could i didn't have anyone to watch my kids like what was i gonna do just like leave <laughs> So I couldn't make the flight for Friday. Um, and then my my Saturday morning flight was canceled. So anyways, I literally had a breakdown. Like I, I just like started crying. I just like had a, like I was just like all of this time like we had this all planned like this was gonna be our moment we're gonna have a girls trip like just to just be with like there's just nothing like being with your best friends that 
you've been friends with forever there's just nothing like it like you don't laugh with anyone like you laugh with them like I don't know how to ex unless you if you know you know like whatever so I was so looking forward to that and I was just so looking forward to just like I don't know being in a new place and just like not having to like wake up at a certain time and like feed everyone you know so I just got like wicked overwhelmed and started having an attack and if Chelsea and Mallory didn't like push me to like find a flight or they were like finding flights for me and this and that and I ended up finally after two canceled flights I got a flight for Saturday at like I wasn't gonna get into Texas until like I don't know what time it was like 2 30 or something so anyways fast forward well no then Olivia was up throwing up Friday night but she was like total it was so weird like she was totally fine and then we're just like Bleh. no fever no nothing just like so weird so I leave Saturday morning and I'm like okay I'm just gonna park my car and just pay the stupid parking whatever so I don't have to like have somebody drop me off and like this and that and I'll just park get home Monday drive right home like not a problem so I I get to the airport I can't find parking anywhere like literally cannot cannot find parking anywhere and I go back around finally find it I was literally driving in circles for I'd probably say 25 minutes then I get to I park at the completely wrong terminal I should have parked it like literally the other side of the world of Boston Logan Airport I finally get to my thing to my terminal and I'm gonna miss my flight because the line to go through security was so long it was just ridiculous so I end up having to when I get to the TSA lady I have to I'm like I'm gonna miss my flight and she goes go to the other side tell the lady I sent you I had to cut everyone in line I'm literally on the verge of tears and like sweating underneath my mask like <laughs> oh my gosh so I get through security and the doors to board were literally gonna close in a minute like in one minute so I don't even put my shoes back on I'm carrying my shoes I'm carrying my backpack and I'm running <laughs> through the airport and there was people literally like looking at me like is this bitch okay <laughs> And I was like, not after everything I have gone through. Saying it out loud, it doesn't sound like, but it was just like one thing after another, after another, after another, after it. Like, I just like couldn't catch a break. And um, so I, I'm running. I've never even been to this like part of the airport. And I'm running and I get to the I'm, I get up to the gate and there's 12 million people standing there like they hadn't even boarded the plane yet oh good grief so anyway so I get there whatever I'm parched I'm starving like I hadn't had my morning coffee like I'm like okay so anyway so go to Austin we had a great time but Olivia was very sick the whole time I was gone like very sick and then Sunday night, Mike got really sick, like really sick, fever, projectile vomiting, wicked sick. And then I was coming home Monday afternoon. It was, it was really bad. Um, so I felt awful that they were all, well, the boys were completely fine, never got sick. Um, but Olivia and Mike got it really, really, really bad. And then Sunday, so Sunday during the day, Olivia, it, it changed from coming out of the top to coming out of the bottom. And it was like liquid. Anyways, I won't get into gory, but it was bad. The whole thing was bad. It was bad. It was bad. It was really bad. So I'm flying home Monday. All is well. Get on the plane. All is good. Blah, blah, blah. I had checked my, um, I had a, I took one of our small, like, carry-on suitcases. My camera just overheated because this camera 
stinks. Anyways, so where were we? Were we? Oh, I did my eyebrows off camera because it's like whatever. Where were we? So I get back to Boston, right? Is that where we were? I get back to Boston and um, it was just a direct flight from Austin to Boston from um, American Airlines. And, oh, I was talking about my suitcase. Okay, so I was talking about my suitcase. So, I, I we brought a little, we, me, I, hello, <laughs> I can't speak. I brought our little carry-on suitcase because I was only gonna be there for a couple days, but like, I have a ton of makeup. Like, I have my skincare that I have to bring with me. I'm on Accutane, like, you know what I mean? Like, you get it. So, like, whatever check the suitcase because I can't bring all this, this, the liquid, whatever the rules are, blah, blah, blah. So I checked a little suitcase, like no big deal. Like what's the big deal? What could possibly happen? So <laughs> you're getting this. And if you follow on Instagram, follow me on Instagram, you know, so my luggage isn't there. We'll just get to the point. Where's my luggage? I'm standing there and my luggage is not there so I so I go up to the thing they're like give me they're not like giving me a hard time but they're like oh well go look again oh well blah, blah, blah. oh and I'm just like I'm like not an idiot dude well I mean I guess there were some idiotic people around there because like this one lady was like so annoying to the poor people that work there oh my gosh i can't even imagine but um she's like my luggage isn't here my luggage isn't there and she goes and looks on the carousel and it was there like she just had to do it like a triple look but i literally had done whatever it wasn't there so um he calls back the baggage it's not there i'm there for like almost two hours and I ended I end up having to fill out a claim and I'm like freaking out because I'm like what if they really can't find it like what am I gonna do dude I'll be beside myself but to just to end like the lovely experiences I was having like I was coming home to everyone all sick and it was like and we're gonna lose your luggage like great so then I have to walk to the other side of the world again to get back to the parking garage that my car was in. I can't find my car. I can't find my car. Like I literally could not find my car and the battery in my, in my key is broken. So I have to like, it won't, even if I like beep it, it won't, I need to be close enough. So I couldn't just like, oh my gosh. So anyways, so that's, that's basically summed up just like the crazy experience of me trying to have a just like <laughs> so then I get home and it's all good I was so happy to be home and see the kids but Mike was like really 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 sick Olivia only ended up throwing up one more time, like randomly. She had been feeling so much better. And then randomly just like, it was like in her sleep actually. She threw up and then went back to sleep. So Mike and I had to change all her stuff. But all this stuff just like makes me think to myself <laughs> in my head and I'm like, am I ever gonna have like a relaxing vacation away as a mother like ever again ever because I really truly don't think I will because I know people are like oh it gets easier as they get older like I don't think so dude like I think when my kids are older I'm still just gonna worry about them just as much you know um especially if I can if I like don't have a say in everything that they're doing um but no it just it's been it's been quite a ride and I think it was right for me to just 
put YouTube on the back burner for right now. Um, unfor I'm sorry, like, if anyone really enjoys my videos, and I know my, my girl Megan messaged me on Instagram, and she was like, oh my god, this makes me miss your videos so much, and I was like, stop, I need to... I need to get back and I wanted to and there's so I have so much to share the amount of videos I have to film is just like not even not even okay so that's good like that makes me happy um but it's also you know like I put these like expectations on myself and nobody's putting them on me that's the thing is like I can be so so hard on myself and almost like a I don't know I can just I can just be so hard on myself and it, and it's weird when I just always feel like I could be doing better I could be doing more yada yada um and and to sit back and remember that I'm only one person you know and I've talked about it before, but I really do, like, I really do have a hard time with putting all these expectations on myself, and it can just, it can just be a war within my own, my own head. Um, so wedding planning is going well. I'll get you updated on that, because I know that that's always something fun to talk about. We did hire a wedding planner, which is great. I'm just very happy with that decision because the amount of stuff that goes into this I just can't even deal um and just in a couple I mean it's already March in just a couple months it's gonna be a year um a year from when our wedding is and I guess that's when there's quite a few things that we need to check off the list um, to get done just with different vendors like booking them and it's really it's so hard because there's so many and thankfully our our wedding planners like give us a um like a list of their preferred vendors that they've worked with that have done like have worked really well for them i'm so excited and it was just fun talking to my friends down when we were in texas because one of my best friends i was in we were in her wedding when i was pregnant with olivia um and then my other best friend that we were down with that lives in texas she's getting married like less than i think it's yeah like less than a month before mike and i so it'll be her wedding and then it'll be our wedding um so we're gonna go down to texas for that which is gonna be such a blast her wedding is gonna be amazing i can't wait um, so that's fun to just be able to like talk with them about that. So also, I will add to what's going on right now, if you're hearing any background noise, um, we are getting, our house is being worked on right now, it's getting all new trim and new windows. So we've been having, we've had people here just banging and banging and banging on our house in the heavens. I got Olivia this brush at Marshall's. I should probably change this sweater because this isn't what I'm going to be wearing. So I guess that's it for my update. I'm going to go change and I'll come back and I'll do my hair on here. Um... And maybe in that time I'll think of anything that I might have forgotten because I feel like that just happened so fast. Maybe it didn't. Maybe I've been on here for a long time but I don't feel like it. Oh. Okay, so I got this cutie little roadkill shirt in Austin when we were at a cute little vintage outdoor thingy, vintage show. There's some cute little... vendors there um so i'm just my hair is so grown out i'm getting it done on friday i'm so excited um it's been since december i think since i've gotten it done so we're gonna do a slicked pony for that slick slicky slick 
and I have to go get Michael from the bus and go on with my day. And a little trick that I really like to use. I mean, obviously, ooh, look at that bump. How embarrassing and rude. Just tuck her. Well, we're gonna tuck you under, you rude. Um, so two things. So eyebrow gel for your wispies. Or I got this from um, in a boxy charm. It's by insert name here, who I love, um, and this is their quick slick hair essence, and it like so. You can just um, I think on the package it said like throw this in your bag for when your hair goes crazy. But if I like slick it good enough, I never really have that much of a problem. So like, how great. Just genius. So you guys, thank you so much for sticking it out with me here. Um, and look out for new videos to come because I got a lot, a lot to film. And like I said, I will link everything I used. We're gonna twist and turn. Twist, twist, and turn. Twist and turn. All right, guys. Love you much. Thank you much. And I'll see you in my next video.